Here we go. Feel the rhythm, feel the beat. Running on the track, this feels so sweet. And welcome to another ex exciting, fantastic episode. Now, as you can see, this is the season for graduation. So we are at a friend of mine's graduation party where the whole community gets to be involved and it's a lot of fun. So that's where we're at. And I actually graduated from the same school that most of the kids gradu graduated from three years ago. So I'm excited to see what things have changed and what's been going on. So I'd like to first point out that my high school experience, although there was many ups and downs, obviously, it was most of the time a great experience. And if you guys have questions about whether I was mainstreamed or in special ed school, I will answer that for you right now. I was actually mainstreamed school because my parents figured out that I actually was a very bright child, so they figured they may as well put me in mainstream school where I can actually learn something rather than having to do life skills and not having any progress in the world whatsoever. So uh, after I completed high school graduation, um, there were many different choices for me to choose from. I, ch I did college for one year, and obviously that's not the right choice for everybody in life, um, but I did do it for one year and that didn't really work out for me so I decided to go the occupation route and run my own health and wellness business for a year. It turns out that I actually spent more money than I was making so I ended up leaving that company and chose to work for myself and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing today. There are many different choices you can choose after graduation. You can either go the occupation route and go straight into work, or you can choose the educational route and go into college, or there's even a third option. You can also go into trade school, which should automatically put you in an occupation of what you're good at. Um, a great example of this is one of my friends that I've known from elementary school until this day. He actually went to the University of Texas after graduating high school, and he also had cerebral palsy. So that's that's a really great person to look up to, and we're still friends to this day. Now, obviously, that's not the choice for every special needs parent, but with a little faith, trust, and hope that I would do well, my parents have made the best decision for me in the long run. In life, there are two options. You can either be a victim of your situation or you can be a beacon of light to others. I choose to be a beacon of light because that brings happiness to others and that shows that even in the saddest of situations, you can also still be positive. So it's your choice. You can choose what you want to be. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this week, this week's episode. And if you are graduating anywhere in the world, congratulations and good luck with your future. If you like this episode, please feel free to subscribe, comment, and like. And if you, if you haven't checked it out yet, please feel free to check out my website, www.goreagan.com. Thanks. Bye.